Shmai folks, uh, I just wanted to take a moment before you lo we launch into our diagonal scale approaches um, to just to talk about w w the common things that people find once they're at this stage of learning, uh, especially, you know, scales like the minor pentatonic. Usually at this point, and hopefully if you followed the playlist as I hoped and intended, you will have two patterns under your belt, so able to play the same scale in two different parts of the neck. Um, uh, but what you might find, what's really common, is that you're feeling maybe a little constrained, that you're, you're playing the same box shape all the time, um, and you're not quite sure how to break out from it. Really common. If you go onto a forum, any guitar forum or anything like that, you will see this question asked all the time. How do I break out of the box? And the most common answer that you get is, go and learn the five positions of the minor pentatonic scale. You've learned two, do another three. Okay, it's not bad advice, but it can be a little overwhelming. My advice is to basically take it a little bit slower and learn it a little bit at a time. And the best place that I found to start is by expanding what you already know by using the diagonal scale approaches. So that's what we're gonna do next. And as I said, just um, take your time with it and just like, you, as I said, have been doing, really get it under your fingers before you move on uh, to the next diagonal pattern. Um, there will be two, each hanging off of the uh, the patterns, the minor pentatonic patterns that you've already learned. So I wish you all the best uh, and good luck and happy practicing.